G'day viewers. Well, this is the video I promised you a little while ago. Very long video. I invited everyone to give me comments on what I should talk about. Ask me any question you liked, or just give me a shout out, and I'll give you a shout out in this video. I'm going to lead in with the explanation I always have to give, given it heaps of time, but every time I make a video longer than 10 minutes, someone says, hey, how did you get to make a video longer than 10 minutes? Well, back in the day, the early days of YouTube, a director account, which you did have to make a specific application for, automatically gave you uh, no time limit on the videos. You still had a 100, 100 megabyte upload limit, but there was no time limit. The idea is, if you were a director, someone who was actually going to be making films, arty pieces, longer pieces, you needed that freedom, and you were supposed to not abuse it. But a bunch of dorks use that lack of time limit to upload whole TV shows and even movies. And so the privilege was taken away. Now, I've gone on record lots of times saying the way copyright laws are enforced these days is bullshit. The way YouTube often responds to issues is bullshit. But here's an example of why we have these issues. Dickheads who abuse systems and do stuff that's just blatantly wrong and everyone suffers as a consequence. And the other question I'm likely to get is, do you seriously expect me to watch something this long? In short, no. I don't take it personally if anyone says this is too long to watch. I wouldn't watch it. I think it's crazy. I'm going to have to watch it a couple times probably in the editing process, but that's me. If you don't want to watch it, I won't take it personally. And as for how long this is going to be, obviously I'm just starting at the moment, so I don't know. My goal for a minimum is 90 minutes, like a feature length Mr. Angry documentary. And I'm actually not going to stop just because of time. I tell you what, here's, I printed out all the stuff people sent me in comments. It's more than 20 pages of stuff to thread through. So it could easily go for more than one and a half hours. We shall see. But without further ado, let's get started. First up, Cheesemaster said he was taking away the ability of dorks to leave some lame first comment. And so he did. And he also got thanks from Mystery Skater 4 for doing that. Now, Drake Blackthorn said, well, first he said congratulations on being a partner. Thank you. And then he asked me about Rule 34 of the internet, which I had to look up, although when I found it, I had seen it before, notably on a comic called XKCD. Rule 34 of the internet is, if it exists, there's a porn version of it. I believe this is completely true. Blue Carbon Returns also popped up, volunteering to tell me what it was if I couldn't find it myself, but it turns out it was very easy to discover what Rule 34 of the internet is. Key Ranger, Chi Ranger and I had a bit of a discourse about the way people are stealing videos, downloading them, then re-uploading them, either to sell porn, some other sort of spam, or I just don't know why. And we concurred, it's dorky behaviour, and we really don't know why people would do it. Besides thanking Cheesemaster for blocking the first option, Mystery Skater 4 also asked me, was I using any other video sharing site before YouTube? No, I wasn't. YouTube was the first site I tried, and it's the one I've stuck with. I was blogging with a written blog before YouTube, and I decided to go a bit further with it. First I thought about podcasting, but then I thought, hey, go the whole way and make videos of the stuff I've been writing. And YouTube was basically it at that time. Since YouTube's been up, I have tried a couple, like Reva and Live Video, but they seem more trouble than they're worth. They just don't have the audience, so it's hard to justify the time it takes to maintain an account on those sites. Xanadu123 asked me how I made the background that I often have in my videos. It's easy. It's a website called blockposters.com. You can upload any image and tell it how many pieces of paper you want to print it across, and it creates a PDF for you. It's awesome. I think it's lots of fun. Try it out. Blockposters.com. No, they've never given me any money or anything like that, but they do provide a good service that I think is worth sharing. And Alton said, Scandinavia for the win, because I was talking about how I got more viewers than I thought from there. Indeed, Scandinavia for the win. The evil Aris asked a 
bunch of questions, starting with a big political one. Uh, the melting on the North Pole has revealed that it's going to be easier to get some of the natural resources there. And a bunch of countries are making claims, the US, Canada, Russia, to name just a few. Everyone wants to drill, get oil, get resources. Greedy bastards is what I say. They're going to fuck things up worse than they're fucked up now. Have I heard of Wizrock? No, and I probably should have looked it up, but I've got so many other questions to answer, I didn't. Also asked, do I follow a YouTube channel that's a guilty pleasure? No, quite honestly, I revel in everyone I'm subscribed to. I suppose you could say I was subscribed to Lonely Girl 15 for longer than was healthy, but uh, I actually dropped that subscription a while ago. Final one from Evil Aris was, do I have any tattoos or piercings? I don't have any tattoos, don't particularly have anything against tattoos, I've just never bothered to get one, and I've had my ears pierced in the past, but I haven't wore earrings for years, so the holes have more or less healed over. No exotic piercings. Bruce82 said he likes some of my banners and I probably should cycle through them. Good advice, I shall be doing that. Mintar1013 asked if I'd ever considered taking over the world and unfucking things. Yes, that's my master plan to run the entire world. Now, I like the idea of saying I'm going to unfuck things. Reminds me of a line Colmini's character had in Con Air when things started to get out of control. He just screamed, This is a situation that needs to get unfucked right now. Foylema asked, What's better, Ford or Holden? That's a fantastic Oz based rivalry between the two main car makers for many, 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 many years. I've always been in the Holden camp. And Evil Aris wasn't satisfied and asked a shitload more questions like Favourite book, Lord of the Rings. Favourite movie, uh, the Lord of the Rings movie was pretty good, but my favourites are probably The Princess Bride, The Godfather and Jesus of Montreal. Uh, my favourite food, my favourite style of food is Italian. Anything with lots of garlic, mushroom and cheese is good with me. Uh, am I on Twitter or MySpace? No, I'm not. Don't have the time. Do I own any pets? We have one cat named Mimsy. After a line from The Hunting of the Snark, Mimsy in the Borogoves, and a neighbour cat that wants to be adopted by us because its owners are abandoning it. I was actually thinking of making a video about that because it's a weird situation. I thought that would be a little bit Mr. Safety Mean Kitty, but hey, maybe I will. What else did Evil Aris ask? If I could travel anywhere in the world, where would you want to go and why? I would just love to never stop travelling the world, but I have never been to Europe and I would like to visit my ancestral homeland, which is in Scotland, more specifically the Orkney Isles. Who was worse, Jack the Ripper or Elizabeth Bathory? Jack the Ripper, because we don't even know for sure who he was. Who was smarter, Einstein or Hitler? I never knew many people were pushing Hitler as smart. I'll go Einstein. Show us something new you've got recently. Uh, I'll try and remember that when I'm home and pull something out that's new. I'm not sure what I've bought recently. I'll have to think about that. Have I ever ridden a unicycle? No. An elephant? No. Is the glass half empty or half full? I made a whole video on that. Leave my glass the fuck alone is what I said. K Bay Lady says she loves my maniacal laugh. I do too. <laughs> And K Bay Lady also said she loves the outdoor stuff I've shot, which is why I was shooting this outdoor stuff, because that's a good suggestion. And in fact, I think you've probably seen enough of my face for now. I'm going to answer the rest of the questions with some round and about Melbourne stuff I've shot with a voiceover over the top. Hope you enjoy. All right. Landent asks, can we still submit banners? I'm still working on a main banner and I still have some ideas. Don't need a shirt as a prize. I think it would be cool if you used my banner. Hey, <laughs> I'll accept it anytime. Anyone wants to submit banners, I'll look at using them. Felix000 says, WTF. And you're not alone, Felix. Supervillain asks, am I annoyed by fanboys of all types, e.g. Max are best and vice versa, or mine's PS3 and 360s, and rarely we owners bashing each other for buying something... Yes, I agree. Fanboy stuff is stupid. It's a waste of time. Hey, that's your chosen medium. Good for you. Enjoy it and don't make a big scene about it. Evil Aris asks for favourite Greek god or goddess. I'd probably have to go with Mars, god of war. Have I ever played D&D? &D? Yes, for years I used to play 
D and D. Uh, and Ifalaris actually says his favourite channels are me and cute with Chris. Me because I post a lot, and Chris because you like kittens. I actually like cute with Chris can be really sick while being cute at the same time. So one comment also says finds it odd that a chocolate bar in Australia is expensive while one in the USA is dirt cheap. This fact alone tells you a lot about the USA. I agree. Healthy food here is easier to get and cheaper. Junk food's more expensive. That's the way it should be. Sexy Geeky says I have a nice haircut. Well that's nice. And the world views thing is awesome. I think a collar and leash would look awesome. I don't have that in my wardrobe. She also points out she had one of her vids stolen too. Wants a gig. Might still get a gig as long as I upload it in bits. Ah, the gigabyte file. Yes, okay. Ah, yes, and this is the long video that's going to take up most of my gigabyte upload. She wants to know about my views on Doctor Who, old versus new. And maybe where to get someone to make you a theme. I want a theme. Okay. Uh, Doctor Who. I agree. I was mad for Doctor Who growing up. But looking back on it, it's incredibly cheesy. 90% of the show's really cheesy. Has camp value now. I love the new series of Doctor Who. I think it's awesome. And as for theme, uh, there are a few people who do music. Mine was done by NSG, as I've said Often enough, hey, look around. There's a lot of people making music. Maybe you can talk one of them into making a theme for you, whoever you may be. Now, Telly Shaman says, oh, because Telly Shaman had just realised that I'd given him prize for using a banner. Says, thanks so much. Glad you liked the banner. I did like it. And yes, points out his was an animated GIF. As I said, I really didn't think I'd choose an animated GIF. I thought a lot of the ones I'd seen were way too garish, but a few of the ones that were submitted were subtle enough that I liked them a lot. So, who is next? Uh, Telly Sharman and me have a bit of back and forth talking about getting his details. Uh, speaking of banner makers, Mega Leech was next. It's awesome. Win a t-shirt. And of course he was worried about giving out a postal address. For those who don't know, Ages ago, Megaleach pointed out I made a really dumb mistake with some technology that was confounding me, and I swore to hunt him down and kill him. And now I have his address. Ha 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 Yeah, the video, as he points out, was called I Hate Technology. If you want to know about it, you see my reaction to Megaleach pointing out what an idiot I am. Uh, Eden Bainbridge said that the banners were all fantastic, and I would have had a hard time choosing also. Yes, it was actually really hard. The only downside of contests is having to pick a winner because I feel bad about not picking everyone. Anyway, uh, Evil Aris then... Oh, yes, Evil Aris keeps popping, popping up. Says you should make, uh, make the background behind Angry Aussie contest. That'd be sweet. Or possibly rent a sheet of paper or two behind Angry Aussie. I guess you could, if someone wants to nominate something I should have on the backdrop behind me. I'm always open to suggestions, no guarantees, but I might do something. Ivalaris keeps asking, do I play any video games or have I in the past favourites? One of my all-time favourites was definitely Diablo. I haven't played that for a while. More recently, I was playing, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Vice City. It's uh, Grand Theft Auto. I find that very entertaining. And no, I haven't played the new one because I don't have a PS3 or an Xbox 360. So just play the PS2 version. Return of the Jedi, Return of the King, Return of the King by a long way. Uh, Genie grants me three wishes. What colour eyes does he, she have? Brown, because they'd be Arabian. And please give us a sampling of some of my favourite music in the background while recording this long video. I'd love to, but then I'd have copyright bullshit to deal with, so I can't really do that. If I could live in any other time, which time? I really don't want to live in another time apart from now. I'm really enjoying now. I do have a bit of a thing for the future. I don't idealise any time in the past, but I'm dying to know what the future brings. So I hope I don't die soon. So Arthur 
42 dead, said, yeah, he, he uh, reconfirmed that he uploaded a video and saw the upload was one gigabyte. And yeah, I'll say it again, I can't believe they didn't make a big song and dance about that. Maybe they don't want people to abuse it. Who knows? Uh, Twonky555 said, what is your favourite letter? And I ask, can I have two favourite letters? Because that would be F U. Uh, not to Twonky555, just to a bunch of people who deserve it. Conmec says, mm, does he have something to say? Maybe I should talk about my ideas about community. And there were some really awesome banners in there. Is jealous? Uh, I think I got some very awesome banners in that uh, competition too. Community. Though, look, okay, I've been on YouTube about two years. And if you've been noticing videos from people who've been on that long or longer who talk about community, they're nearly always bemoaning, oh, the community's not as good, the community's gone, oh, the golden age was poor. Bollocks, as far as I'm concerned. I never got any preferential treatment. I didn't get features on the global page. Uh, that's why those people got to the top of the most subscribed list, getting featured on the global page. Hey, they got everything all their own way for a while. Good for them. Seriously, good for them. But uh, I have had more positive community-oriented things happen in the last six months to 12 months than I had in my first year. So I think YouTube, uh, community-wise, is better than it's ever been. And I've been getting more actively involved personally with the community lately. And even on the big name things, can I just say... I owe about 75, 80% of all my subscribers to Mr. Safety, Corey, for giving me a recommendation, and Michael Buckley from the What the Buck Show. Two people, both in the top 20 subscribed of all time, who had nothing whatsoever to gain by giving me an endorsement, and yet they did. Okay? When stuff like that can happen, the community is strong, and I don't care who says otherwise. Okay, so Conmec said, uh, the angry community. No, I actually told people about the angry community and then I haven't done anything about it for a while. Uh, maybe Conmec and I should work on that for a while. Okay, moving on. Jonas PV asks, how I'm doing? <laughs> how do I feel about having uh, Elizabeth II as head of state? Do I support the idea of removing the Union Jack from the flag? asks because colonialism's a big issue these days. Former colonies, Portuguese Africa, for example, trying to get rid of their colonial symbols, and some people go as far as to say that American imperialism is becoming the new colonialism. Also, what do you feel about American influence in Australia? Cheers. Okay, I am basically a Republican. I think it's bullshit that we have a foreign monarch as our head of state, and we have a foreign flag as part of our flag. And for anyone who says... Uh, it doesn't matter that the Queen's the head of state. November 11th, 1975, people, the government elected by the Australian people was kicked out by the Governor-General, who's the Queen's representative in Australia. Yes, one person elected by nobody had the legal right, still has the legal right, to terminate a government elected by the majority. That, my friends, is bullshit. Uh, American imperialism. Uh, look, that's a, a common theme, and uh, I'd certainly hate to be on the receiving end of an expeditionary army come to free the fuck out of me like they've done in Iraq. Uh, and I'm a bit sorry, sometimes you get the feeling about uh, uh, American cultural imperialism, like Hollywood and American TV dominating... Like, but on the other hand, hey, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Don't buy Coca-Cola if you're worried about it. Uh, you can't really get far telling other people what to do. And uh, it's the nature of the world. Uh, if someone produces a lot, whether it's consumer goods or entertainment, and spreads it around the world, becomes influential. Hell, Bollywood's getting big. And China's influence is growing by the day, maybe in... 20 years, we'll be bemoaning Indian cultural imperialism and Chinese economic imperialism. 
Things don't stand still, people. Everything keeps moving. Now, Bruce Tube says, Dude, what do you think of this 9-11 truth business? Uh, 9-11 truth tends to be paranoid conspiracy theories, as far as I'm concerned. Specifically, anyone who wants to start saying any shit about, Oh, it wasn't planes full of terrorists. Yes, it was. It totally was. Okay? As soon as someone starts saying about, oh, controlled demolition of the towers, heat-seeking missiles, that's bullshit. That's, oh, it's just absurd. Now, there are a lot of things about what happened on that day and after that are worth questioning because there are questions that haven't been answered by the Bush administration. Their response was appalling, as in non-existent. The time lapse between the impacts of the planes... Why was nothing done? Why didn't they scramble jets? How could they be so clueless on that? And given that... Look, okay, I'll tell you the most outlandish conspiracy theory that I think could conceivably be true. I do not personally believe it, but I believe it has a better chance of being true than that insane controlled demolition shit. The Bush administration was given specific reasons, uh, sorry, a specific notification that bin Laden was planning dramatic strikes on American soil and they did nothing about it. And given what we've seen that administration do since September 11th, basically exploiting a tragedy to serve their political ends, there are some people who believe they did know about the impending attack and let it happen because of what they could gain from it. They were willing to sacrifice American lives for their own political gains. To repeat, I personally don't believe that, but that one's got a lot more chance of being true than that insane crap about controlled demolitions. It was planes with crazy Muslim terrorists crashing that did it, okay? End of story. Now, who is next? Oberlane said, great shirt, lol. Thank you. I like the shirt too. I like all my t-shirts. Random Ed says, lots and lots more crazy ideas on YouTube now. Yes, there are. And he says, and checked how stacked the comments are. Yeah, the Random Ed was commenting at the time this video went up was when one of the last significant changes to the visual appearance of YouTube happened and they changed the way the comments look. I don't like it as much, I have to admit. It's just... Slightly harder to read, I think. But, hey, change. They keep changing things. Megalich pops up again and says, have I, seen the music, have I seen the movie Zeitgeist? And if so, what are my thoughts on it? Well, that ties in with the 9-11 truth stuff, doesn't it? Because that's what a third of Zeitgeist is about. Zeitgeist, the movie, is a pile of shit. Uh, their 9-11 truth bit, they're liars. They show footage from all the uh, TV stations, and then they have people discussing it. And they're clearly trying to make it look like it's the journalists from the TV stations spouting all these conspiracy theories. And it isn't. It's their audio that they dubbed over the video from the TV channels, which is a straight-up lie. And as soon as someone lies about something as big as that, fuck off, I'm not interested. Now, Blaze Boy X says for my next video, uh, oh, I think video gaming has become too commercial. Every big movie that comes out gets a video game. They know it'll sell, they all suck balls. Don't know if you play video games, but that's something that gets me riled up. And V4 Star said, I'll second that. It's bad enough if a game's related to movie, pretend it doesn't exist. Most of my gamer friends are the same way. Now you have video game review sites selling out and firing their reviewers if they don't give false and overly flattering reviews for games, they've been paid to advertise cough, GameSpot cough. It's ridiculous. And Blazeboy X jumped back in and said, Thank you. Nice to not have to flame to get my opinions across for a change. Look, man, I totally agree. I don't play that many video games, but it's pretty much a universal rule. Movie tie-in games suck. They're shit. Galore Defiant says, Ha, huh, thanks for letting me know about being able to check international views find that kind of thing interesting, fuck the spammers. Yes, I think the looking at the international views is fun too, and I totally agree. 
fuck, the spammers. Turning the page, I'm up to page 7 of 25. This is going on for a while yet. Okay, Suwanta1 says, when I eventually get a chance to get an answer to any question, haven't got any in mind. Oh, mental block. But I think Suwanta did come back later, so we shall see. Wally's girl said, I had my video uploaded by some people too on other sites. It's weird. Yeah, I agree. It's weird. Uh, like I said, spammers are evil and suck, and I, but I understand why they do it. Uh, when just random people put your videos up on their account, I just don't get it. Hey, maybe I'm thick. Don't have to answer that. Okay, Batsu, 1990. Wanted to see my viewpoint on... Okay, Batsy says, I get called racist for not liking gangster people. I don't hate black people. It's not my fault. 90% of gangsters are black. I'm not racist. Just don't like gangster persona. If you, what's your take on this? Hey, look, <laughs> talk to Chris Rock. Uh, in his word, he hates niggers too. And niggers are ignorant ass motherfuckers in his uh, mind, not black people. So, yeah, look, that gangster stuff is bullshit. Okay, some of the original rappers did really come out of South Central and East LA and they're real hard asses and but this whole thug life thing glorifying that sort of brutality so stupid and counterproductive and this no snitching bullshit it's like oh no a child molester abusing our kids we couldn't turn him into the cops that would be snitching that's just fucked up wake up to yourself if you think that shit Okay, next up, Gasser 5001 says, that was one evil laugh over the one gig of space now, and it really does look like a nipple clamp. Yes, I've been a bit more careful with my microphone clamp since then, because I didn't see till I edited the video, it looked like I was wearing a nipple clamp. And as for evil laugh, <laughs> I love evil laughs. Shadow Adler says, yeah, also confirmed had the one gigabyte up wide limit, so long as you use the YouTube uploader. Yeah, so they gave it out to everyone without announcing it. So, hey, who knows? Okay, Valamorn says, I didn't enter the free camera giveaway because I'm from England and wasn't sure if you would get it to me. So my question is simply, are you willing to send prizes overseas? And a shout-out would be cool, of course. Well, yes, Valamorn, like everyone, you get the shout-out. And yes, I do send prizes overseas eventually. I'm really behind in sending out prizes. Um, <laughs> I will try and send out all the overdue prizes soon. Sorry. Okay. Shadow Sheehan says, Oh damn, completely forgot the banner competition. Ah well, there's always other competitions. Uh, question and topic. Uh, I suppose you haven't played too many real-time or turn-based strategy games on PC. Probably come up with better ones later. Uh, I don't play many PC games. Like I said, my favourite PC game was... Uh, what did I say it was? Diablo and Diablo 2, which doesn't qualify as that sort of game. I've never got into those strategy games particularly. Kellum RB22 also confirmed had the one gigabyte applied without being a partner. Uh, yes, everyone answered my question for me. Everyone has the one gigabyte applied. And they gave me a question. Do you ever wonder what you look, look like without your facial hair and or more facial hair? And how many times have you been noticed in public off YouTube? The facial hair thing, I've had more or less consistently for about 15 years. Uh, I do shave it off occasionally, so I know what I look like without it. Uh, I look younger, uh, much younger. So uh, it's, I'm getting to the age where I should be a bit more vain and shave it off maybe, but I don't know. I like it. More facial hair. I have really sparse and uneven facial hair. One of the reasons I trim my facial hair is I'd have weird, bald, uneven patches if I tried to grow it thicker. So it looks pretty stupid. And I'd, it gets annoying when it gets longer and straggly too, so I trim it. So how many times have I been rec recognised in public off YouTube? A few people have sent me messages saying they saw me somewhere and were too shy or whatever to say anything to me but people I've noticed noticing me there was one and this was actually funny to me because this was right back when the gathering was on uh, in it was just before the gathering so it was the last day or two of November 2007 and there was a video of mine featured on the front page of YouTube and what I found funny about being recognized 
was I was with Mr. Safety, Corey, you know, mega famous, and he nudged me and sort of went, check it out. And someone, we were in a supermarket getting some stuff, and someone in line, a guy in line with his girlfriend, was pointing at me and nudging his girlfriend. That's what I found funny. I was with Mr. Safety, but they were actually pointing at me, not at Mr. Safety. I thought that was pretty funny, that uh, I was recognised ahead of someone who's way more famous online than I am. Okay, the next question was, uh, Callum RB22 came back and said, came back on YouTube, see your ply and it all changed. Yes, all the changes that happened when this video went up. It is quite freaky. And T-Bone5000 admonished me because T-Bone5000 did enter the banner competition and when I put the username up, I put two T-Bone3000. What an idiot. Oh well. I wanted to know what I feel about the bloke that is pregnant. Weird. Okay? That's... I can't think of anything more than say. Everyone had a bit of a go on that topic. That was weird. Life is weird. Oh well. And also talked about uh, free running. Uh, what do I think of free running? Hey, uh, people who can do it, awesome. I think it looks really cool. Um, I'm so unfit and awkward, I'm never going to do it. Ah, Aces Wolf also confirms, yeah, you don't have to be a partner to get that one gigabyte uplink. Actually, he puts in a sensible thought, thinks it's for high definition video. So not necessarily long videos, but videos that are bigger in size. So wh what should I go off on? He says, wanted to know where I stand on world hunger. Ah, interesting uh, point because study after study shows there is way more than enough food in the world to feed everyone, and there are a series of bullshit economic and political things that mean lots of people starve, which is stupid. Uh, but humans are humans, and it's going to be very hard to ever resolve that sort of thing. Uh, on a slightly or in fact very related note, because I've had a bit of a go in a couple videos about global warming deniers. Uh, I get some really amusing, stupid things in response, but a, a couple people have thoughtfully told me what I think on certain topics on there, and one of them is uh, talking about ethanol made from corn and saying that's a really bad idea and it's all my fault that it's a really bad idea. Um, I didn't mention ethanol from corn, but I'll bring it up now in relation to word world hunger. The idea of creating fuel from ethanol made from food is fucking stupid. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's a ridiculous idea. It's wrong on so many levels. It's not economical. And it is fucking offensive to be filling up SUVs with food while so many people are starving to death. Ethanol is a fucked idea. Don't go down that road, people. Okay. Next question comes from Didzy Dude. It says, hey, my question is, what is the name mysterious fizzy drink I appear to be addicted to but won't tell unless I get a sponsorship deal? You answered the question yourself. I'm not going to say the name of it until I get a sponsorship deal because I'm a complete whore. And if someone who made a product that I wasn't actually drinking now offered me money to pretend that's what I was drinking, I'd totally do it in a heartbeat. Sell my soul for the right amount of money. And yeah, I am pretty much addicted to that caffeine beverage. Next one. Liam Russell, will I say a Jackie Uncle one more thing on the style of Uncle and Jackie from Jackie Chan Adventures? No. I actually know what you're talking about. But <laughs> I, I, I just don't feel like doing that at the moment. Sorry. Deflin says... I heart that show, ah, talking about Jackie Chan Adventures, only good artwork I've ever done is from that. Uh, can't wait until Jade is 18. Ah, oh, definitely, that's sick. Getting the horn over cartoon characters, that's sick. Just because I do it all the time. Anyway, that's another topic. Evil Brain Productions says, awesome, I want a t-shirt. Yippee, thanks, dude. Well deserved. I really like the banner you did for me. Evil Brain Productions question, how much of Australia have I seen, where have I been? I actually don't travel that much. I was born in country New South Wales, middle of the state. I lived in Sydney for 10 years. I've been in Melbourne for 10 years. 
Uh, in terms of travel, I've been uh, to Queensland, not much north of Brisbane, though. I haven't been right up around Cairns, the Great Barrier Reef or anything. I have been to Darwin and Kakadu, though not to Uluru, Ayers Rock. But Kakadu, Darwin's a great place for a holiday. I recommend that. Uh, I like going around the Great Ocean Road. I drove all the way to South Australia once, just across the border for the sake of saying I drove all the way around to South Australia. I never got as far as Adelaide or anything like that. Um, and really, that's about it. I haven't been to Western Australia, and I would really like to. Actually, a friend of mine did a road trip all the way around the South, South Australia, all the way around to Perth, and had some awesome pictures. I would really like to do that one day. And I have promised a few Tasmanians I will go to Tasmania. I may go to Tasmania in springtime. I'm not going now. It's getting into winter now. And Tasmania's bloody cold at this time of year. I might go there in springtime or summer. But I have not seen that much of Australia, really, which is quite remiss of me. Now, who is next? Okay. Arondo16 asks... What do I think about taxi drivers? Just shooting an idea for you. Personally, I think most are right, but I hate it when they don't talk. Oh, look. <laughs> taxi drivers shit me, actually. I think they have attitudes, and I'm always expecting them to scam me. But there was a recent event in Melbourne. A taxi driver got knifed, and the taxi drivers who were sick of being subjected to violence, did this big sit-in in the middle of the city. And I'm totally on board with that. Okay? No matter how much taxi drivers piss me off, no one deserves to get stabbed while they're doing their work by some fuckwit. Okay, the guy who did the stabbing is apparently claiming mental illness as a defence. That may be. But I was totally on board with the cabbies doing a big sit-in to express their outrage and get some of their safety needs met. Um, so yeah, they might piss me off, but they deserve to be able to do their job without getting stabbed, even if you occasionally get in one and say, um, take me to St Kilda Road, and they say, where's that? For those outside of Melbourne, that is the most well-known road in Melbourne, and I'm not exaggerating. I've had that happen. Okay, next cab off the rank, as it were, is Jewel425, who says, I was a little afraid when I saw the title of this one on the subscription roll. Okay, where have I travelled outside of Australia? Again, I'm not actually that widely travelled. I've travelled uh, to the Philippines, Japan, USA, and most recently to New Zealand. New Zealand was awesome too, by the way. Can't believe I waited so long to go there. If the whole world goes to hell with drought and famine and whatnot, I'm moving to New Zealand. They've got more water than they know what to do with and lots of dumb furry critters on the ground so it would always be easy to catch food and, I don't know, learn how to tan hides and you'd have nice fur coats all the time. So I'm not that widely travelled. I've never been to Europe and I would really like to go to various bits of Europe hope I get to travel again maybe sometime this year. Okay, NATN808 says, I just found the first bit we have talked about, and it's a curious piece of software. Good plan with a watermark idea with a video. Ooh, I have a question. How do I make a link in the sidebar? It would be nice to see a walking yolog in the city again. Well, you'll be happy with what I'm putting in the background of this uh, some stuff I shot around the city, so you'll be seeing bits of Melbourne, and of course the first bit I was actually outside while I was doing it. And I did answer in the comments for this, but to make a link in the details box, all you have to do is put a URL in, and it automatically turns into a link. Now, VPU says, haha, your face at 423 really made me laugh. How many times do I have to tell people to stop pausing the bloody videos on embarrassing facial expressions? VPU also asks, what's my opinion of the Olympic Games in China and Chinese violation of human rights? Ah, Chinese violation of human rights is pretty fucking extreme in my opinion. Uh, I also don't think the answer is as cut and dried as some people say. China is 
rapidly becoming a massively important player in the world. They're going through rapid change and totally ostracizing them. Just my opinion. Don't think it's the best idea. But speaking up and saying, guys, that stuff's bullshit and you need to stop doing it. That is totally the right thing to do. And in fact, I like the fact that our new Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd, while he was in China, impressing everyone with his Mandarin speaking skills, he straight up said, you've got to stop this bullshit in Tibet. Now, Australia's economy depends heavily on China buying billions of dollars worth of our resources every year. That was a pretty ballsy move to just say, yeah, look, we like your money, but we also want to speak to you about this stuff. And the gutless soft cocks on the opposition side, who up until recently were the government, actually went, oh, jeez, I don't know that you should have said that out loud. Fuck you guys, you're a bunch of pussies, and we're well rid of you in government. Uh, I'm not a complete cheerleader for Kevin Rudd, but I'm pretty happy that... He did that. Now, the next person with a question lost my place slightly while I was rambling then. Okay. Psycho Jones 419 says, recently watched the movie Ned Kelly, so he's pretty important in Australian culture. Got any tidbits of information about him? Uh, his death mask is in Melbourne jail. He was hung in Melbourne jail. And they did a cast of his face after he was dead. And that's on display in Melbourne Jail. That's a little bit of trivia. Uh, my other favourite things about him, his final words, apparently, just as the noose went around his neck, was such is life. He was only very young. He was mid-twenties when they caught him and hung him. Uh, and he was a fairly political guy. He wanted to stage a revolution in Australia. It would have been very interesting if he hadn't had been turned in by someone. And I don't know if you've ever seen his writings, because he had a lot of writings. He used to write letters and screeds about what was his view on the world. And they look kind of crazy and rambling, but the only thing is he just never used punctuation. At first glance, his writings look like a crazy person's writing. But if you decipher it and put the punctuation in, it's quite rational what he says. So... But it's very interesting to see really long screeds with no punctuation at all. Apparently, he never learned punctuation. He was very expressive, but he never learned punctuation. So there's a few bits of trivia about Ned Kelly. Psycho Jones also said, uh, you may have noticed I hardly ever spell my name right. Should have been Psycho Jones, but my keyboard goes satanic from time to time. And thanks for responding to the comment. I guess you respond to most of them, but thanks anyway. Yeah, look, I'm... People often ask, how long am I going to keep replying to comments? I would say at the moment, with the volume of comments I'm getting, I'm at the upper limit of what I can handle. So if the number of people commenting goes up, it's distinctly possible I'm going to start responding less. So I'm going to do it for as long as I can manage it. But if that becomes too much of a burden, you're going to see me responding to less comments as time goes by. The problem with getting a bit more popular... I suppose. Okay, Furian King says, try jam glue for your MP3s. I think that stays up. Thanks, I'll check it out. Ooh, I actually found one. If you look on my profile, I got an account at a place called File Dropper, which I think is permanent. So anyone who ever wants the Angry Aussie theme, I've got a link on my channel page that should be permanent. You can download it as an MP3 anytime you want. Thanks for the millionth time to NSG Music for doing that awesome theme for me. He definitely makes a return and says, I have a question for the Angry Aussie. When I was in Australia, it was very difficult to fi find sour candy, and you don't have graham crackers. There must be an exciting and immensely important reason why. Please share. Well, a lot of American products aren't on sale here because they're American products. Uh, you'd have to go to a specialist store to find them. Uh... But sour candy's not that hard to find. If you're ever in Melbourne, look me up and I'll hook you up with some sour candy. And in fact, I know where some American food stores are, so if you really want graham crackers, I could get you those too. I'd have a hard time going to the US because I couldn't get Tim Tams, which are the single greatest chocolate biscuit ever made. And they're Australian. Blue Carbon Returns 
also tells me that uh, I can upload one gigabyte too. But now I want to know, what is the worst thing I've done when angry? Uh, real, real anger is when I'm driving. Ask uh, Damien Estrich, uh, Mr. Safety. They were in a car with me. Uh, and I have abused some people savagely when driving. I think I traumatised some people. I haven't like done road rage and run anything over. That's bullshit. I just shout at people. But I do it fairly full on and I think I've traumatised some people. Uh, so I'm leaving out anything criminal I've done. But I, I think my rather aggressive shouting is capable of traumatising people sometimes. All right, Alex Kidd, 1982, says, how about something like a day in the life of Mr. Angry, as I sarcastically said, sitting in front of the TV, on, sitting in front of the PC, making videos, typing comments. Uh, but the abbreviated version of my work days, I get up at about six, I check what comments came in overnight, I try and answer them before I have a shower and breakfast and go to work. Yes, I have a job. Uh, I'm working in the city at the moment. Uh, I shot the start of this on one of my lunch breaks. So, I'm at work, and then I go home. And then I turn on the computer again, and I look at what comments came during the day. And then if I'm making a video, I make it, and edit it, and do more comments, and spend some time with my family, and watch the Daily Show and the Colbert Report, and then look at more comments and respond and watch some videos and at some point go to bed. That's a bit tragic when I lay it all out like that, but that's a reasonably accurate summary of my days. Tida21 says, how many t-shirts do I have? Well, you see them in the videos. Uh, I've put them on. In fact, I just bought some new ones online, which... I uh, should be coming in the mail in the next couple of weeks. Little presents to myself. I'm looking forward to getting them in the mail. I got them from some of my favourite websites. So you'll be seeing some new ones in coming weeks. Alex Kid 1982 popped up again and said, Oh, a question for the long video. What is my view on the Republican movement in Australia? I've already answered that. Someone else asked about the Queen. I'm basically a Republican. I don't think we should have a foreign monarch as our head of state, but I think the process of moving towards a republic has to be handled very carefully because there are some very good things about the way the Commonwealth runs, notably the way we're looked after uh, by the government. Uh, it would be nice to have those same protections codified in any sort of constitution that a republic might have. I have a friend who's actually really good on that sort of stuff. I might try and drag him in front of the camera one day and get his explanation about that sort of thing. Okay, back to me. I used up all my stock footage. So Eagle Eye 5199 asks me what I think about the situation with illegal Mexican immigration in the US saying that uh, the US government's been given a driver's license and allowing welfare for illegal immigrants. What do I think? I think your issue there is not driver's licenses and welfare. I think your issue there is people who are employing illegal immigrants. And I don't just mean not checking. I mean the people, particularly in construction, who are deliberately employing illegal immigrants. Here's a tip. The immigrants would not come across in such numbers if it wasn't so goddamn easy to get jobs uh, that pay shit and have shit conditions, but are still better than Mexico. I'm thinking construction, I'm thinking about uh, farm, fruit picking, crop harvesting, uh, working in meat packing plants, all that sort of thing. That's the bullshit part. These companies that are making a fortune by fucking over American workers, it's not the illegal immigrants' fault, it's the people who reward them. And I think the government is the least of your worries on that front. Pirate Exhibit wants to throw a big fuck you out to anti-Iraq war protesters, which is of course you're right. I disagree with pretty much everything you said about Islam and in fact it's logically unsupportable. It's cool that you don't like it, that's your choice, but some of the things you said actually don't make any logical sense about 
all Muslims should leave Islam. Not going to happen. It's perfectly okay to be opposed to Islam as a theology. I am myself, uh, but then again, I'm opposed to all theologies. But hey, your opinion, you're entitled to it. Liam Russell asked me about some of my favourites and least favourites in a few categories. Dictator first up. I can't think of a dictator I would call my favourite. Uh, least favourite? Probably Stalin. I think he killed the most and he's pretty fucking nuts. Musical artists? Well, one of my favourite is an Australian band called Not Drowning Waving, who technically aren't around anymore, although they still do play occasionally. Least favourite? Oh man, 99% of what gets played on commercial radio sucks dog's balls. Cheese! My favourite cheese would probably be Brie. I am a big cheese fan. Interesting question. Least favourite? Maybe Swiss. And yeah, it's, I like cheese, but if I was forced to choose one, I'm not big on Swiss. Childhood cartoon. I still watch cartoons now. Can I say one I watch now? I remain a fan of The Simpsons and South Park. A lot of people hang shit on them. I think they're both doing some of the best stuff they've ever done now. And I really like most of the stuff that's on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim too. Least favourite, all those pile of shit, badly animated Hanna-Barbera things from the 70s. Fucking horrible. Mammal. I declare my favourite mammal to be the Potteroo, because that's just an awesome name. My least favourite mammal? The dugong, known in North America as the manatee. Are you sea going or land going? Make up your mind, pick a team. Could I finish by doing the Macarena? No, I can't. Sarja Sia was another one who pointed out to me the one gigabyte limit is available to everyone. Well, here's me taking advantage of it. Kuzakira gave me a hint on a site for holding uploads. If you look on my channel page, you'll note I have a link to where you can download the Angry Aussie MP3 if you're interested. This is a new-ish file sharing site, uh, uploading site, which I think is going to hold it permanently and I think has no ads and is really easy to use. So that may well be my favourite. It's called File Dropper. I think you have to pay for registration now. I got in really early and didn't have to pay for my registration, but at the very least, you can download the Angry Aussie theme from there if you want it. D. Polizotto asks me if I'm still going to do a video with an exploding baby, because I do mention it occasionally. Yes, I totally am, one day, when I get around to it. Mancunian Girl asks me where I stand on green issues, particularly with regards to nuclear power. A lot of people are pushing nuclear power as a green energy, saying it's cleaner burning than coal. Uh, in the short term, that is true. I would not support nuclear power on a large scale until somebody could improve the mining technique because the mining technique for uranium is incredibly destructive and hazardous and puts a whole lot of radioactive waste into the environment. And of course, there's the disposal issue of spent uranium. Until those two are answered, I certainly wouldn't support nuclear. Wannabe Loser had a random thought. Wedding cakes, are they better when they're expensive? I don't know, but I do have an interesting story. My brother, when he got married, his mother-in-law-to-be made wedding cakes, and she said she'd make the cake for the wedding, and she had uh, a, an album of all the cakes that were possible. He instantly went for the biggest, most complex, clearly the most expensive to make one multi-tier with bridges going all over it because that's the type of guy my brother is. Jello8807 asked me about the eight girls who beat up another girl. What did I think of that? And of course, I've made a whole video on that in the intervening time since that comment was posted. So you should know what I think about that now. CMC212 regretted not sending a banner into my competition, but then said that theirs wasn't as good as some I showed anyway. I really appreciate everyone putting thought into it and... Wow, I'm about you to change banners again. I think I'll do that. The Shy Fox also asked me about the girls who beat up the other girl, which I just answered. So you know, I've got a whole video on that. Starlight528 asked me to rant about the evil TV tax. 
Now, some people might not even believe this, but in the UK, they still have a tax on TVs. Everyone who has a TV is meant to pay a special tax. It's, it's fucked. I suppose in terms of the ABC and SBS in Australia and PBS in the US and all the public broadcasters in other countries, you are paying a tax on them anyway. It's basically just going to be hidden in the taxes you already pay. So on some levels, the UK specific tax on TV might be more honest, but it just seems sick and wrong. 1994 CG asked me a whole bunch of questions about school. What was I like in high school? I was an outcast, a loser. I was no good at making friends. That probably makes all my haters happy. What year did I stay to? To year 12, the maximum there is in Australia. Was I a bad student? Well, academically, I was actually quite good, but I was also very lazy. So if someone didn't push me, I wouldn't do the work. But if I was pushed to do the work, I'd get really good grades. What's the worst memory of my schooling life? Ah, <laughs> so many to pick from. I fucking hated school. It was boring. It was pointless. I always got in trouble for not doing the work that I was too lazy to do. Uh, I did have a bit of hassle being one of the social outcasts. It's really too hard to pick on one as my worst memory. Did I have a lot of friends or was I too angry? Well, I had some friends. I've already answered this, I guess. I wasn't really renowned as being angry, but I did learn at one point, if you can make people think you're crazy, they won't fuck with you as much. So there were people who thought I was sort of crazy, dangerous, used to do boxing, and I would beat the hell out of them if they annoyed me too much. That's actually pretty handy. Tyo Bolo wanted to know what I thought about Sean Bedlam's hair in his Olympic Torchwood video. Hey, Sean Bedlam's the only person who can have crazier bad hair days than me, and that's saying something. Scoutlaw11 says, am I going to be visiting the US at any time? Would I stay with Mr. Safety? What would I do? What would I like to do? I do hope to get back to the US sometime, maybe even this year. Uh, I know Mr. Safety has volunteered to put me up at his place. I put him up at my place when he visited here. I'll tell you one thing I would really like to do in the US. Bit of a cliche, but I'd like to do Route 66. Just go coast to coast and see all the funny little towns and meet a bunch of people. I reckon that would be good. And I could make YouTube videos along the way. H Luna 52180 was excited by me suggesting I might go to the US. Am I going to do it? I don't have definite plans. Uh, the one thing I was thinking of going for in October is not happening, but I might still go this year. And H Luna also wanted to know what my sort of viewership support is like in the US. Very, very strong. The vast majority of my viewers come from Australia and the US. So I owe a lot to my US viewer base. Thanks, guys. Green Fox 59 asked, what's my favorite color and why? I don't normally have a favorite color. If you look at the clothes I wear, you could probably go with black. I like black in clothing because I live in Melbourne and it's very utilitarian. Blue Carbon Returns recommended another site for me uploading MP3s. Like I said, I've got a solution or at least a potential solution I'm trying out. You can check that on my channel page. What's up, what's up, Juan wants to know what I think about World of Warcraft or addicting games in general. I don't go near them because they're addicting. A lot of people say, wow, how do you find the time to make all these videos and answer all these comments? Because I don't do things like play games. I also have a whole bunch of DVDs banked up to watch. I don't watch all that much TV. I don't watch all that many movies. I actually do dedicate most of my free time to YouTube and my blog. How sad is that? Soiled Art was happy to win the banner competition. I was happy you entered. And also said that uh, they subscribed to me because when someone said I needed therapy, I said, this is my therapy. They seemed to like that as a joke. That is a joke and it's also serious. Doing this stuff actually really helps me be happier in my day-to-day -day life. Gregory748 also suggested a site for uploading files. Thanks for the suggestion, uh, you and everyone. It's really nice to actually get answers when I ask questions because I usually really want an answer. King Simba 34 wants to know what I think of airport security, particularly in the US. I think it's fucked. 
a top Aussie bloke, Dr Lima, recently got refused admission to the US for that bullshit fucking security you have there. He didn't do anything wrong, he's not a bad person, and it's not like he gets the money refunded, and he's not a rich guy. It's fucked. It is absolutely fucked. All that bullshit that happens at US airports is theatre. It's not real security. It's not making you safer. And anyone who wants to go, oh, oh, no, look, we're being protected from the terrorists. Terrorists. No, you're not. It's fucking bullshit. Oz E E wants to know if I think there should be more boobs on TV. There should always be more boobs everywhere. TL013 wants to know what I think of virtual pets like Tamagotchi. Do my kids have them? Yeah, my kids actually think they're really cool for a while, then they usually get bored and the Tamagotchi die. So sad. I don't have time to look after them myself, but I think they're pretty clever ideas. Julia CT said she liked my placeholder banner, which said anger is an energy, even if the font was a bit naff. That was sort of cute. For those who don't know, actually, that's a quote from John Lydon, a.k.a. Johnny Rotten. After the Sex Pistols, he had a band called Public Image Limited. And that was a quote from one of the songs, Anger is an Energy. Satan's Red Rose wanted to know what I thought about Walmart suing someone, taking someone's money who got hit by a truck. But everything about Walmart is fucked. Americans, that's going to destroy your economy, destroy your country. They've already destroyed your manufacturing base. Nothing is manufactured in the US anymore because you can't fucking compete with these trailer loads of stuff coming from China and being sold in Walmart. This is a slow, drawn-out suicide, and you're going to fucking regret it. Seb Modulus wanted me to talk about bass guitar and also have a go at Jaime Molson. He said, kill that dickhead. No one's got angry at him. He's apparently a Mexican ufologist. Seriously, the dude's a ufologist, his life's already fucked, I don't need to go after him. And as for bass guitar, I'm completely unmusical. But maybe I could go for bass guitar. I mean, it's only got four strings, and they're great big ones. I could hardly miss them. Okay, my hat didn't magically disappear. I'm shooting this on another day, and I didn't wear my hat today. Let's go on with some more questions. What Pro Gamer Australia asked me if I thought the new Star Wars movies were better than, worse than, or the same as the original three, way worse, way, 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 way worse. The prequel movies are basically shit. They got a little bit better as they went along. They're shit compared to the originals. I mean, it started with the names. What the fuck does the Phantom Menace even mean? It's a shit name, and it's got no relationship to the movies. And, you know, then with Attack of the Clones, again, that's so... But why didn't you just call it The Clone Wars? Any Star Wars nerd knows what that's about. Uh, at least, you know, Revenge of the Sith. Again, that's one for the Star Wars nerds because the original title for the third movie was Revenge of the Jedi, but he thought revenge was too harsh a word, so he changed it to Return of the Jedi. So Revenge of the Sith made sense for the Star Wars nerds. But all in all, they're absolute shit. The cartoons that got made... Uh, the Clone Wars cartoons, they were actually quite good. So maybe this animated film they're going to come out with, with you know, Clone Wars stories, will actually be good. Who knows? But those prequel movies were shit. Julia CT chimes in with, Is the internet a bit like Lord of the Flies? I completely agree. It's totally sicko Lord of the Flies, Law of the Jungle type stuff. Pretty sick and wrong, really. Callahan420 says he's going to settle down with some sandwiches and popcorn to watch the video. Hope you're enjoying the food. Well, a few questions from Callahan420, starting with what web browser do I use? Almost exclusively Firefox. Do I play any online games via PC or console? No, I don't. I've already mentioned games I don't play much of because they take up too much of my time. I wouldn't be able to make videos and that would be sad, wouldn't it? He also asks, what do I think of get-rich-quick schemes? They don't work for anyone except the person selling the book or the website or the whatever telling you how to get rich quick. Never works. Do I ever fart in one aisle of a store and then move to another aisle? Frequently, I'm a chronic public farter and then run away and blame it on someone else. 
What music or bands do I listen to? A really broad range. Australians can get a general idea in that I tend to listen to Triple J Radio. Broadly, you know, what's regarded as independent music. And that can be anything from, you know, pop, rock, hip-hop, you know, a whole range of stuff. Basically, if it's good, I'll listen to it. Cosmo Mank asked, "Have I ever put on a strap-on dildo and had sex with a man?" I don't need a strap-on dildo to have sex with a man. Ha. Now you could have asked, "Have I ever had sex with a man?" or "Have I ever let a woman with a strap-on dildo have sex with me?" But you didn't, and it's too late to ask now. Eric SP0F said a few words about uploading, noting that he also had the gigabyte limit along with the 10-minute limit. I have the gigabyte limit, but no 10-minute limit. Hence this video. Bingle's eye liked my crazy the power rant, and then asked, "Have I ever travelled like around the world, Australia?" I think I've already answered that. I'll throw it in again. You know, Country-wise, I've been to Japan, Philippines, USA, and New Zealand. Around Australia, mainly the East Coast, uh, Eastern States, I should say. Uh, you know, all around New South Wales, Queensland, uh, not much north of Brisbane. Live in Victoria now, travelled all around Victoria, crossed the South Australian border once, and that's it. I probably should travel far more. Fig Thunk said, "Cool." Crash Data pointed out the YouTube multi-uploader lets everyone upload up to a gigabyte's worth of videos. True, but they still have a 10-minute limit, so I can upload one video longer than 10 minutes, up to a gigabyte in size. Theoretically, I'm trying it out here. Twee Dragon 1000 says, "Why don't I talk about how the U.S. government can take away your pet if they don't like your breed of dog?" Hell, that happens all around the world, and I have read some interesting studies that say it isn't a particular breed of dog that's the problem; it's a breed of human that's the problem. Dickheads will have a dangerous dog no matter what breed it is.、And、that's true. I had my kids nearly savagely attacked by a cocker spaniel, almost, you know. The most placid breed in the world, but the fuck with who owned it? I don't know. It just really went for some kids on the beach one day. So hey, life's hard. Government can take stuff away from you. Dozer suggested I talk about Dozer's favourite subject, Dozer, which would be a bit hard if it wasn't a joke because I don't know anything about Dozer. But he did ask, am I still doing stuff for Direct TV? Not at the moment. The show, The Fizz, is not running at the moment. But it's always possible that or something similar will start up again, and I may start doing stuff for Directv again. Rizwan one five one wanted to know how old I am because I don't look that old. I just turned forty two for those who are interested. That's why I know the meaning of life now because, as fans of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy would know, the meaning of life is forty two. There's also questions about. Why am I so angry? Was there a traumatizing event? Well, look, it's mainly an act, but when I am genuinely angry, it's just what I see as a natural reaction to how fucked the world is. Rizwan also wanted me to specifically get angry at him, which I can't really go insane because I'm in a public place and it's dodgy enough pointing a camera at yourself and talking without starting to rant and rave. But you know, next time you see me really going off my tree in a video, it's for you. All right. Wally's girl asked how I found YouTube. Did someone direct me or whatnot? Well, the reason I got onto YouTube is I wanted to expand what I was doing on my blog. I didn't really think much about you know the YouTube community as such. I was really just using it for stuff for my blog. But after being on, I discovered that YouTube itself was pretty goddamn awesome, and that's why I've been on ever since. Wally's girl also asked if I've ever gone to mental health services. What I think about shrinks in general. Look, for a lot of people, it's really helpful. Like going to counselling or therapy, can be incredibly helpful. And I think it's probably way better than drugs. Just automatically dosing people up on drugs is a bit creepy in my book. Sometimes all you need to do is talk to someone to feel better. Hell, this is my therapy. S B B B twenty four, whose real name appears to be Bob, said, "Congratulations to the Banner Comp winners. Yes, congratulations and thanks." Everyone, and he wished me good luck with dealing with spammers and video stealers. Yeah, look, dickheads exist; they always will. I try not to let it get me down too much. Tadzchik and Megalich then had a bit of a 
back and forth in the comments. They are a married couple from Tasmania, regular commenters and viewers and great people. And they gave me a bit of advice on what uploading sites I could try. And then Tashif berated Megaleach for putting her lower down the list of important things behind the computer and backgammon, I think. Ouch. Lovely Zach said, please mention me. Consider it done. And I find the comment interesting. Actually, Lovely Zach says she's always having an uphill battle with random people because she's a minister, a woman who's also a divorced single mum, and some people think she shouldn't be a minister because of that. Bullshit. Screw those people. Look, ministers should have diversity of life experience because their ministry, their people, their flock has diverse life experience. If it's all white, middle-aged guys, it's really hard to identify with the people who are going to come talk to you. More power to you, lovely Zach. Don't be that guy eight was another person who wanted to know what I thought about those crazy teenagers who beat up the other teenager. That's why I did a whole video on it, because lots of people were asking me what I thought, so I gave my mind on that. Thanks for the suggestion, everyone. Darkrealm666 asked if I thought some people, for example, Kurt Cobain, needed to die to cement their place in history. They'd probably say no. I'm not sure. Maybe some of them... Well, Cobain committed suicide, so who knows what his motivation was. But certainly once someone dies, they're frozen in time, and that's how we always remember them. So obviously we remember them differently than we would if they had lived longer. But as to whether they needed to die, no, I don't think so. I think that's a bit horrible, actually. Not saying you're horrible, Dark Realm 666. I mean thinking certain people have to die for our gratification. That's not good. The next comment slash question was from Shiki Shinobi. Coincidence, two in a row from people who both showed up to our mini gathering. But Shiki Shinobi's question was, what's the difference between a bisexual man and a straight man who has sex with men? <laughs> one's honest, one's a liar. Easy Raul added that he's looking forward to seeing a feature-length 90-minute Angry Aussie movie one day. Well, this is sort of it. This is a feature-length documentary. I actually would like to look more at doing films, yeah, short films to start with, and maybe doing something feature-length and putting it on YouTube. Who knows? PDX Vlog said, bow chicka, bow bow, and left it at that because he was tired. Fair enough, too. Flipper Lunchbox said I inspired him to march out in March and use a monopod in Vegas. And I saw that video. It was cool. I love Vegas. He asked me what I'd like to see. The night, the, the main strip at night with all the lights. That is awesome. I love it. Cherry59 said she's coming to Australia in the next year or two and she needs to know where she should go first to impress some young teens. Well, that does depend on what they're impressed by. Most teens like beaches. Uh, and the sunniest, happiest beaches uh, sort of start in Sydney and head north. Uh, when you get to Queensland, you've got to be careful because some like surface paradise are just really commercial and overshadowed by apartment buildings and aren't that good. Uh, while I did say you know, north because it's warmer down here in Victoria in the south, there are some very good surf beaches when you head out past Geelong. Australia's most famous surf beach, Bells Beach, where they have the international surf carnivals, is down there. So, yeah, beaches, uh, if they're at all into nature, I would recommend the Northern Territory, Darwin, Kakadu, through to Uluru, a.k.a. Ayers Rock. And, of course, the Great Barrier Reef in the northern part of Queensland. i tell you something I want to do. Uh, in the northern part of Western Australia, they have all these cool things like you can go scuba diving with whale sharks and giant manta rays. So much, so much to do. There's also, if you come in winter, there is skiing. A lot of people don't actually realise we have snow in Australia. Yes, there is a mountain range. You can go skiing as well. And there's all the wilds, like Tasmania has pretty spectacular wilds. Wow, there's just heaps of stuff. Drake Magnum also said congratulations to the Banner Comp winners. Congratulations, everyone. And asked how... Angry Aussie has affected my family life. For instance, do my kids watch my videos? My kids actually know there are two sorts of videos for me. The ones they can watch, where I'm not swearing, and the ones they can't, where I'm swearing. And they always ask me, well, when I'm around they always ask me. And of course there's the ones they're in, which they know they can watch because they're always G-rated. But in general terms, certainly my girlfriend agrees doing these videos has made me 
less angry, more happy, more fulfilled in my day-to-day -day life. So she's really happy I have a creative outlet. Gino Rules asked me where I like doing videos most, apart from my shed. Uh, I really do enjoy doing them on the beach. I shot quite a few beach videos this summer. I quite like that. I like showing off summer when a lot of viewers are in the Northern Hemisphere in the middle of winter. I'm not being mean. I want you to feel warmer. Uh, and Gino Rules also asked what my most enjoyable video that I've posted is. I find it absurdly hard to narrow down one out of 600. I did like the kangaroos on the golf course one because I just think that's funny. Uh, that's as close as I can get to narrowing it down to one. All right, a bit more stock footage now. Now for a laugh, I am going to use one of my unedited videos. People have asked me a couple times, oh, what's it like making a video? Do you have outtakes? This going in the background now is just straight from the camera, the unedited stuff, just from my last video, the last video I have when I was making this recording anyway. So, yeah, uh, my lips won't match what I'm saying, and for long periods I'll appear to be staring into the middle distance. I swear, I'm thinking when that happens. I'm not just vaguing out, I'm thinking about what I'm doing next, but this will go on for a while and you'll see how weird the process of me making a video is. But back to the questions. Crimson Keeper is another person who asked me about the teens who attacked the other teen. Asked a specific question, do I think they should be tried as an adult? Crimson Keeper says, personally I do, I hope they get punished to the full extent for what they did. What those girls did was deeply fucked up, but I am somewhat conflicted about punishment. I don't know if you've ever seen the inside of a jail, I've visited people in jails, jails are truly fucked places and a teenager going into jail it is basically no question, particularly in the US, they will come out a worse person than they went in. I don't think that's a very easy question to answer. Next question, hypnotize you. Comments realized my upload limit is also one gigabyte score for me, but don't really upload much. Ha! I do, and this is where I max it out. Now Shady ZX asked a whole bunch of non-controversial questions for me. First up, what's my stance on gay marriage? I say it makes as much sense as heterosexual marriage should have exactly the same standing in my book. The Iraq War, a pile of shit based on absolute lies, executed poorly, cost unnecessary billions of dollars, the lives of thousands of US soldiers and hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians. Fucked an abomination, truly one of the blackest marks uh, in America's history. The cause of the world economy going down the crapper. Partly that's just cyclical. Economies do that. Uh, the US is copying it worse than a lot of countries, even though there's all this sunshine and roses pretending not, and that is purely about government policy. Hey, you know, things will go to shit for a few years and then they'll probably come good again. Which religion is better than all the rest? I'm a big fan of Zoroastrianism myself. Next question from Crayon Painting. It says she didn't know about the about your video thing, which is the statistics thing I was talking about in the video where I asked people to give me questions. She says, thanks for that. It looks kind of interesting. And then asks me, can I talk about some funny, interesting, piss-offy experiences I had when I was at school? Holy crap, I had so many. Someone else, else asked me that. Uh, i tell you what. One, when I was in about year 10, so when I was about 16, I got really prone to having things go wrong. Uh, I'll tell you, I got some terrible injuries. I got a finger broken. I got smacked in the head with something very heavy. I might tell that for one in a story time video, so I'll save that because it's a pretty funny story. And I also had to have major surgery on my ear. So I always had some sort of bandage or something on me for about a year. That kind of sucked. Anyway, crayon painting also added to me looking forward to it. Also wanted to say 
it's nice to see me to reply to comments. Not many YouTubers do that, especially those with a big number of subscribers. Well, honestly, it's hard to manage. Uh, a lot of the really big people who have 10 times and more subscribers than me and so get 10 times and more comments, it's literally not feasible for them to answer comments. I think it's unreasonable to expect them to. And also, the more high profile you get on YouTube, the more fuckwits come out and want to hassle you. And honestly, that'd make me switch off comments too. But that's a different topic altogether. Now, Lister of Smeg says, cool video, got my banner in the runners up, which is even cooler. Yes, you did, and thank you so much for your contribution. Ramper Egg says, yeah, I got a question. Long time ago, I posted a video about me doing a stand-up comedy act. Am I still doing that? No, stand-up is so 20th century. It's too much like hard work. Not so much the being funny, because most stand-up comedians will use the same material for ages, for years. And as you may well notice, I do new material almost every day. Getting an audience is so hard with stand-up. I know a lot of really good stand-up comedians in Melbourne. If they got 50 people to a room, they'd be ecstatic. And yeah, I whack a video up on YouTube and a couple thousand people watch it. And over 100 people give me feedback in comments. So, you know, this is a much better deal than stand-up as far as I'm concerned. Stupid Badger said, how do I reply to so many comments in every video? Short answer is, I don't have a life. Uh, the longer answer is, I just make the time to do it. I do a little bit in the morning before I go to work, and then I do some more when I get home in the evening. DCT Cool says, hey, nice video, thank you. And here's something for the video. Okay, what's my opinion on the six teenage girls attacking? Uh, and yes, I've answered that, and I've got a whole video on it. So I hope you liked the video that I did in the meantime. L-O-X-E-N-S-C-I, Loxensci, says, oh, that's nice, says, this guy's just entertaining and original, keep the vids coming. Thank you. Killer Toothbrush said, did I ever see the huge video Trippy did? That was epic. I didn't see it, but uh, I know it was like seven hours long, and because of how much he had to compress it, it was pretty much unwatchable anyway. This one won't have to be compressed all that much. It should be quite watchable. Chris on TV 88 said, people have been uploading his videos as well. You know, it's a minor annoyance, but oh well. And look, I agree, it, it's more hassle than it's worth to try and stop all the people doing that, and maybe we should be philosophical. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Hey, Arthur42Dent said, I finally thought of a topic for you, Creative Commons licensing. I really like Creative Commons licensing. It's a very sensible thing. The thing about Creative Commons licensing is it's not going to stop criminal types whose sole intention is to steal your work and profit from it. But what it does is show respect for the end users of your work, whether that be music, written word, video, whatever. For those who don't know, just go look it up. But Creative Commons, you can introduce a whole bunch of limits to what people can do with your work. You can say, hey, do literally whatever you want. Uh, you can narrow it to do what you want, but don't make money from it. Or do what you want, make money if you want, but then you have to also have the same Creative Commons license on anything you make. There are a, a huge number of variations you can put in. I really think Creative Commons licensing is the future. Flenos said, what do I think about the confrontations between atheists and Christians who are mainly from the US that go on YouTube? I saw there are many atheist channels that are de dedicated bash Christians and Christianities, some Christian ones that are dedicated to answer back. As far as I know, from how things are in my country, atheists are usually the ones that don't care about religion, even to criticise it. There's no such thing as someone being an active or activist atheist. Christians are the ones that usually don't answer criticism back. They just do their thing and don't care much about what people are saying about them. 
Why are things so different in countries like the US and the UK to some extent? Why is there so much confrontation? What's your opinion about it? Very long comment, very good one too. Personally, I don't go in for it. I make it very clear uh, what I don't have time for, and that's at the extremist end, that uh, creationists I have no time whatsoever for, anyone who wants to use their religion, whatever it may be, to suppress someone else. They can also fuck off, but I also do not have any time for bigoted atheists who assume they're better than everyone and more intelligent and than everyone for the sole reason they're an atheist. That's just bullshit. Personally, I would agree with you, Flenos. It's a complete waste of time. Well, here's an interesting one. Steve OGVSU said, talk about what I think the most bizarre sex acts people engage in are. Uh, Dude, sick. Uh, I don't want to know what bizarre sex acts other people engage in. You know what? Speaking about sex, there is a really good sex advice columnist called Dan Savage. Uh, his column's called Savage Love. It's syndicated in a few American papers, and you can get it online. He says, sex is good, being adventurous is good, anything goes that's consensual, that doesn't involve kids, animal, or shit. I think that is a good summary. So who is next? S R H M C H L K Smurchel says six hundred and fifteen children and women have been pulled out of their polygamist homes. What is your view about how the authorities are handling it? How do you view the polygamist life? Those people are a bunch of freaks. The children were in danger, very young teenage girls were being forced to marry horrible, creepy old men. That shit is not about religious freedom, that is about freaks exploiting children. Fuck those people, I'm glad the kids got taken out of there. Soiled Art jumps in with, oh I've got one. Is it not exhausting that you feel like you must respond to every comment on your videos? Don't get me wrong, it's fun that you but must take a lot of energy from you, or maybe not. It does take a lot of energy, and I expend as much energy as makes sense to me. If I don't want to reply to a comment, I won't. I do reply to the vast majority, but it's totally on my terms. If I stop, I stop. I don't know when that will happen. Now, a whole series of questions from K to the N throws in copyright law, good or bad, what should be legal, what not. Copyright law as practiced by major corporations is bullshit. It's good that Arthur 2 Dent threw in uh, Creative Commons licensing before. I think that's a positive thing. Everything the big corporations are doing about copyright law is based on lies, essentially. They screw over the artists far worse than anyone downloading does. They are straight up evil. Their whole campaign is based on lies and it's based on desperately trying to protect an outdated business model. Fuck them, they're going the way of the dinosaur, they deserve it. Your fan, how much do you love them? A lot. It's actually incredibly flattering how much attention people pay to me. If I had one week left to live, what would I do? Uh, there is a list, I have a list, the people I'm going to kill if that happens. So. There's a whole bunch of people who better hope I never get that news. Politics, Barack or Obama? <laughs> I'm taking that to mean you think there's only one choice in the upcoming US elections. I would agree, Barack Obama is the man. Meaning of life, question mark, 42. I reached that, so I know. Australia, really such a great place to live. Yes, it is. It's hella good. I think in Australia the combination of climate, opportunity, quality of life, culture, diversity, just about perfect. I really do like it here. Cats or dogs? I am not that big on either. We do have a cat in this house, not actually my cat. But I'm nice to the cat. I named the cat. The cat's name is Mimsy. I mentioned that somewhere else in the video. I named the cat, so there you go. I'm not that bad a person, obviously. Music, favourite genre, band? Uh, well, I've mentioned this a couple of times. I like the indie stuff. Uh, 
just really an incredible range. When I was at college in the 80s, I first got into independent music. I was at the college radio station. So I still got a soft spot for 80s music, I have to admit. Not the shit mainstream pop everyone thinks of when they say 80s music, but good stuff. YouTube, favourite online celebs. Uh, Mr. Safety has always been a favourite of mine. Funny, inventive and talented and just a genuinely nice person. Hell, if you really want to see who I think is good, go look at my subscribed list on my channel page. 9-11, truth or lie? I did gloss on to this. The truth is that some insane bastard jihadists hijacked planes and crashed them into buildings. That is the truth. Any of that insane shit about controlled demolition and guided missiles, you're fucking nuts if you believe that stuff. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of unanswered questions and the Bush administration are a pack of liars. Communism, good or evil? Oh, in, in pure theory terms, I think it has some very good things, but then again, it was never practiced that way. Same goes for capitalism, for that matter. Go read Adam Smith's original writings on capitalism, and it's predicated on people being essentially decent. And as all of us who live in capitalist societies know, lots of people aren't decent. Anything gets corrupted. Coke or water? Water, I don't drink Coke very much. Another question, yes or yes? Yes, more questions, they're good. YouTube, how much time do you spend watching, filming and editing? Far too bloody much. Uh, four hours or more a day. Although I multitask, when I'm editing and looking at comments and watching stuff, I have the TV on, which my girlfriend doesn't understand. She doesn't know how I can do both, but I just do. Now, Weird Stuff Animation 6 says, Oh, great video, thank you. Talk about all this new stuff on YouTube, i.e. the new design or Doctor Who or something. Uh, I, it just pisses me off. It's like they're tweaking YouTube all the time and just putting a different rounded corner or a different button on. It shits me. Fix some basics, like the way the comment and messaging system is just for shit. And Doctor Who... I love Doctor Who. The new series must be starting here soon. I know it's on in the UK and people have put clips of it on YouTube. I just wait for it to screen on TV here. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. Nerd Central, my house. Yay. K to the N is going crazy and throwing in another hundred questions. Let's have a look. Telepathy, real or fake? Absolutely fake 100% of the time. Women, kitchen or hammer throwing? I don't know. I like women, so I don't like to put them down. Death penalty. Just or too cruel? Death penalty is wrong because humans make mistakes. Uh, and the US system has proven the vast majority of the people on death row are there because of shitty court proceedings. Keep someone in jail for life. Don't kill them. Too many mistakes are made. Skydiving or bungee jumping? Skydiving. And one day, I've got this idea. I want to do get to the point where I can do those really high skydives, you know, from a couple miles in the air, so you just free fall for ages. That sounds cool. The glass, half empty or half full? Hey, I'd have got a video on that. Leave my goddamn glass alone. Football or soccer? Football. Beer or booze? Booze, but only girly alky pops that you can't taste the alcohol, like vodka mixes. I'm a wuss that way. How do we end world hunger? By feeding people. How do we end poverty? By letting people have money. How do we end this sentence, anger is an energy? TV or YouTube? I watch less and less TV. I watch The Daily Show, The Cold Bear Report, Doctor Who, Battlestar Galactica. That's about all my must-see TV. Oh, and The Simpsons. I, I, I like a bunch of animated shows too. Bigfoot, myth or reality? Complete myth. Global warming, hot or not? Uh, broadly, I've made it extremely clear my views on that. Climate change is very real. Anyone who denies it is a fuckwit. Now, Katie the end just keeps going with even more. Bald spot or hair piece? Oh look, a good hair piece, go for it. But if I started to get the bald spot, I'd probably shave my hair, as is the current fashion. The Olympic torch, just a burning stick or someone blow that thing out already? I don't give a shit about the Olympic torch. Pirates and ninjas, who wins depends on the playing field. If they were on two different ships, the pirates might win because they'd know how to use the cannons. But in closed quarters the ninjas would win. Mac or PC? Look, I'm not a fanboy of either. My desktop is a PC. I do have a MacBook. 
I'm leaning very much towards my next desktop being a Mac because I do not fucking want to get stuck with Microsoft Vista. What other hobbies do you have except for YouTube? None. Oh, okay, now, I like to write. Uh, I like to go to the movies. Did I ask too many questions or did I? Well, that was a pretty good selection. I don't mind you all at all. Joker Rose just wants me to mention interspecies erotica. You're a sick, 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 sick man. He said, go ahead and mention it. Should I mention some more air about the areas collab? Oh, yeah, speaking of which, hey, yes, I've got a whole bunch of videos that people sent me of outside world. Joker Rose and I are going to work together to post those, and I've had so much on, I haven't done it. Hey, guess what? Everyone who sent me videos, <laughs> send me an email describing what was in your videos, because I saved them without saying who they're from, and I want to put your name on them when they go up. I'm an idiot. So all that pops up again. Uh, give some advice. Oh, yeah. Asked, how did I get the smiley on the top right corner of my homepage to be vertical and not horizontal, which I believe was about my blog on WordPress, which is actually something WordPress do. It's uh, not text. It's a uh, graphic. Nomad says, get I angry, get I nomad. One question. Do you post all the replies you're commenting on to his wife, girlfriend, later time from hand to hand? Yeah. Do, do I get any help posting the replies? No. I wish I had a lackey to do it for me, but I don't. I do it all myself. Yes, Monster. I said, dude, thanks so much for putting my banner on. No problem. Thank you so much for supplying one. I thought you didn't get it. Um, look, I got it. Uh, again, I love you people. Everyone who always contributes when I ask someone to. You people rock. Dale Jr. Fanatic says, what's my opinion on NASCAR? NASCAR seems really funny to Australians because it's just cars going round and round. We do have big car racing. Uh, the closest we have to NASCAR we call V8 supercars. It's the bigger cars here, but they're on like you know, proper racetracks, like Formula One racetracks with bends and stuff. That seems more like racing. NASCAR seems kind of funny to Australians. Um, I like watching the crashes, <laughs> I have to admit. Maximillionaire says, what's my opinion of the English-Irish thing? Look, a lot of my background is Irish Catholic. A lot of the source of the troubles is purely... Yeah, hundreds of years of oppression. The English are past masters at divide and conquer. Pretty fucking evil. I don't condone bombing people either, as the IRA was wont to do, but the bullshit that was set up between the Protestants and the Catholics, man, I just don't even want to think about having to live through shit like this. Hey, two Revo Mag says... Sorry, I'm actually going to ask you to do work. That's right, work, because if YouTube's awesome comments never working, I want them uh, sent a message. Oh, man, what else? Okay, um, I don't know where that is. I don't keep track of my messages. Sorry to Revo Mag. Punk Silnix says, You mean when I found you on that porn site, it wasn't intentional? Oh, uh, now I feel really let down. Hey, dude, that's just my other channel, you know. What can I say? I'm a porn star. Angelfire258 says, what do I think of Chris Crocker? In short, I don't. I don't spend really much time at all thinking about Chris Crocker. He's not doing what I'm doing. I don't care what he does. Too Good For Name says, Ruffle, thanks for showing me the insight into the videos. California loves my videos. Philippines and Japan are a surprising amount. This is so much fun, but no Russians. I agree, it's a fun way to waste time. And I've finally gotten to the end of these comments. Lucky last from when I printed these out. Sorry if you added some after. I've been working on this for ages. But the last one on my printed list is Shadow Mazaki says, I would like to know your opinion on evil turnips. I've started a turnip cult. Tomorrow we carve turnips and throw them at people I know. I'm going to yell April fools when it hits them because it's still April and they're f foolish <laughs> Dude, if that doesn't get you killed, nothing will. I'd really like to know what the outcome is. All right, that's the end of the longest video I'm ever likely to do. Thank you, everyone who participated. Thank you, anyone crazy enough to watch this all the way through. This has really just been uh, an exercise in doing something for the sake of doing it for me. So if you stuck with me, thank you very much. And I think I'm going to do a short video next, maybe less than 60 seconds, just to fire one out there. Thanks again, and see you online.